What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. You don't waste no motherfucking soap in here. I'm, I'm finished. No, no, nigga. You ain't a terrorist. I've been watching you. You have? You ain't watched behind your ears or nothing. But I did. Trucker says he feels blessed after surviving 13 shots fired at his semi. So in this Facebook post slash CDL life article, you guys got to be more safe out here on the streets. Random people is just coming over here shooting at you for no reason. This truck driver is happy to be alive and we about to talk about it. Joseph Earl Walker, a young truck driver, was just doing the damn thing. He went to sleep. He said in his Facebook post, No more wasting time. Let's get it. Now hold on. He's gotten up from a couple of hours of nap and was going to continue my shift of driving I had left. So as he was leaving, a guy in a green pickup decided to block the exit and said, human, you shall not pass. You shall not pass! He goes on to say, so my instinct kicked in and it was just to back the truck up and try to go in another direction, but he came charging at me with a metal rod of some sort smashing windows, mirrors, and everything. So I decided to call 911, told them to send some help. <laughs> so I put the truck in drive just to scare him away from the truck. But he threw himself in front of the truck as he was suicidal, so I stopped. After which he started shooting the first shot came through the curtain and hit me but it didn't it didn't do nothing to me it just it, it just grazed my face from the glass but once he stopped shooting i put the truck back in drive and just hoped just to get away from him i kept driving until the police arrived behind me as I was getting checked out by the paramedics, they found the bullet casing in my dreads. Dude was that close to taking my head clean off like unreal. 13 bullets was fired in the truck while I was in it and not one hit me. I'm truly blessed to be here today. Well, I take that back. I am here physically, but mentally, it's been hard to sleep, replaying all the events in my head over and over from someone who has survived in the U.S. Army. I know about trauma, but this was a different level of trauma. So I say to everyone, please be aware of your surroundings at all times. And live your life every day as if it was the last day in your life. All right, guys, you heard it for yourself. So listen here, drivers. I know a lot of you guys are saying that trucking is glamorous. But here's one side of trucking that's not even glamorous. Young driver wasn't even bothered nobody. He was just taking his nap, taking some sleep. And then all of a sudden he get accosted by some random crazy dude. He was on demon time. The evils in men. What was going on in this guy's mind was to take this young man out. 
for no reason. Didn't bother him. Didn't get out at him. Didn't cuss him out. Didn't didn't camera culture the dude. It was about time for him to put in survival mode so he can get up and out. He thought to himself, like, yo, bro, I'm not going to, you know, I, I, let me just scare you a little bit. But you jumped in front of the truck like you want me to hit you. Now, I'm about to tell you this much, driver. I, I don't know what I would do in that situation. I would probably be scared out of my mind. But I tell you what, though, if he jumped in that truck while I was trying to get away, what, what would have happened to him wouldn't have been my fault. It would have been self-defense. So, young driver, I appreciate you being here. But drivers, if somebody jumps in front of your truck after shooting 13 shots at you, it's time to go. And don't worry about looking back. Don't worry about looking back. Like this young driver did, he looked back and saw the police was behind him. That's when he pulled over. It's crazy. So I hope and pray that you guys will be all right. I know that a lot of companies don't allow us to have our own personal protection, but we're going to need it. We're going to need it. 